process mapping offers so many useful skills and so I'm going to be showing you an animal example as well as a study example to kind of illustrate the point. So we go to two chart, we're going to tap into this with launch app and we're going to have a good look at these examples. I'll use the study example first. So let's click on this blank chart. We go on to choose, to choose, and then we'll use those symbols over there. So first of all, we've got the start symbol is shown by this elliptical shape. That's going to be used as our start. So we drag it onto the, onto the canvas. So we've got that. We'll just type in start and we're going to reset it try get the font and the color so color was with this puck, uh, color the buckets we'll just use this paint bucket and we'll choose a green and obviously a little bit small so we'll try to just improve on the font over here so I'm going to double click on it and then choose the drop down box and let's go for a 36 that's perfect I'll just reset it like that and now we're going to bring in a decision and a process we'll bring in the process and a decision so let's bring in the process first which is showing the activity something that's done it's showing some form of work and let's use the study example so we know that we're going to then be studying our work so we'll use that as an example of a process so let's bring in that rectangular shape we're going to just make it a rectangular shape and this is going to be called study but we'll just give it a color I think yellow is just right so we'll type in here study it's the activity of trying to understand our work trying to know what we are going to be tested on in our exams so we're using a scenario of preparation for exams and then we all know that there's a process of ascertaining or determining whether we know our work or not the concept of mastery do am I competent am I able to do that work let's put that in purple and I'm just going to also make the font a bit bigger it's a bit small hard for you to see so we'll go with 18 and let's just yeah, you know, that looks perfect I'm just gonna put it over there and I'm gonna duplicate it because I need to have a yes and a no so a yes and a no symbol. I'm just going to get those and make them the right size. That should be more or less right. Okay, and then we just duplicate it. Control C and Control V would be duplicating, and we got an N in there to show that that's for no. And we'll just put them in the right place, and then we can get to understand. Whoops, that's right. All right, so we put the no there and the yes there. So we'll be able to test do you know your work, yes or no? All right, just going to straighten up everything. Let's move the no over there, and our yes could go over there. We often use modeling to just understand the logic of systems. It's a very, very useful skill to be able to show how systems work. Let's just duplicate the study, and over here, I'm going to write different topic or subject because when you know your work, you obviously will move on to another section. You know it, you've mastered it, and therefore you're going on into a different topic to study. You're not going to study the same thing over and over again. And I'm going to bring in this start because that would be that if you don't know your work, you're obviously going to go return to it. Now watch how I drag these on this. I drag on that very fat, light blue little arrow on the edge of the handles. I drag and I drag it to there and release and let's do it from that one yes I know my work so I'll go to a different topic and drag to no no I don't know my work so rego to start so what we have here is a model of you study your work you test your work just going to make that a bit bigger and if you do know your work you'll move on if you don't know your work just make that a bit bigger you're going to return to studying it until you get and go out of this loop through the yes the yes direction will take you into something quite different to move on in your studying so the process is start study test determine yes or no and then move on and you can almost see how that would apply to whether you pass your work 
on the basis of some examination or forms of testing to see whether you go up to grade a different grade and move on in your studies. So this is a quite understandable situation. Please do understand that this is a fairly simple example, but you can build on the very, very simplicity of what I've presented here. Let's take a look at an animal example which links into natural sciences. It should help you to understand these process maps a lot better. Let's just go through it. We've got a hungry lion, so we know automatically on the basis of being hungry, the lion's going to hunt. So this is the state of the lion, being hungry. And hunting is the activity. And the activity of hunt, hunting, either successful or not, would determine whether he gets food. He either gets food, yes, or no. So if he does get food, he eats the food, and he is then able to do other things. But on the basis of no, so we'll just drag this down, then we know, does he have enough in him, energy-wise? Is he healthy enough to continue and try again to hunt? If the answer is yes, then he can go back to the start and re-engage in the whole process of hunting. If the answer is no, he doesn't have it in him to be able to hunt because he might be too old, or he might be too sick, or not have enough energy, then you saw that he would therefore die. Just stepping back to just kind of look at the whole process, you can see we've given a very simple example again. But on the basis of this, you can understand the system that is the organization, the way things work in a biological system of a lion either hunting and getting his food or not, and how that affects the outcome, dying in the one case and in the other case being able to re-engage in other forms for example, sleeping, resting, and all the other things that lions do. So this example has been something that you can use in your natural sciences as well. Now, where does this come in quite useful? This, is, this modeling system can be very, very well used in depicting and modeling systems and then writing about them afterwards. Because once you understand the logic of that system and you understand its complexities and the logic involved, it becomes quite easy to kind of explain it in a written piece. So I think you would find that quite useful. Please subscribe and support us.